Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. <clears throat> so I'm doing my day 20 of the hashtag 29 faces. I will put the link down below for the group that originated this uh, hashtag. And go check it out. And as always, if you guys want to join along, it's still uh, never too late to join. It's only the 20th, so tag me and all that fun stuff if you do it. I love what you guys are doing already. So I'm just going to draw. I don't even know what the heck I'm going to draw, but I'm going to draw. I'm going to use my Prismacolor uh, Ebony pencil today, I think. Hmm, what do I want to draw? <laughs> All right, I'm into, I'm into these eyes like this. I don't know why, you know, you guys know, those of you who follow me anyway, know that I get obsessed when I start drawing something that I uh, like to do it in every way possible. So I'm just gonna take a piece of paper here just so I can kind of have an idea on how I want this so I know where it ends. Kind of know where it ends, right? Because that eye looks wonky. It's not as turned. So obviously that piece of paper did not help. <laughs> I only do it so I can kind of judge where to end it, but I think it's going to need to be over here more. I just like trying new things and this is definitely the time to do it. There you go. Kind of wonky. I'm okay. My paper, I'm kind of sat sideways here uh, cause the, um, my back and everything's hurting today. So it's kind of hard, but I'm going to persevere. Is that the word I want to say? I don't know. Yeah. see that should be more going up this way. Maybe I should just bring this bad boy down because Maybe it'll be easier. I don't know. Who the heck knows? Let's just go for it. All right. I'm going to do that. And see if that works a little bit better. Who knows? Who knows? I can see all that gook behind there, but that's all right. I end up shading a bit, so I'm gonna kind of go with the nose here. Like that. And then the lips. Can I go like that? Okay. Why I colored it and I have no idea. All right, just like that. And sketch that down a little bit more. I haven't been doing eyelids lately, but I think I'm just gonna Circle in. Look, she looks goofy. <laughs> uh, almost like a cat who's surprised. That's all right. Because we're going to cut some of that eye off anyway. Under here. And then I can kind of figure her out once I get that. I do want to color that in. Not licking the lip there though, because it's kind of as in Kelly uh, fashion goes up and I don't like that sometimes. Sometimes I don't care. That's not exactly what I wanted to do with her. You know, but we'll see. I'm just going to go for it. I want her. I want this to be like a, uh, 
not a round face. I just kind of want her to, I want her to have some sort of normal looking. Okay. I'm telling you what, if you have problems with your hands, like I do, and I know a lot of you do, do that. Like just kind of go around a few times in a circle. If you find, some people are spot on perfect doing it. I, I, I never get it right. I never do. But I want the chin up here a little bit higher. But it kind of just gives you a little bit more idea and control on making that face. At least it does for me. And I'm all about the tips and tricks. All right, that's a little bit better. Put it in the neck. And I want to, maybe I'll use my pencils today. My colored the pencils. So I want to start with just some, a little bit of shading, I guess. And I'm just using, these are uh, Koinor hard uh, polycolor. So let's see what these do, because I'm going to be blending. And you can see I already kind of blended, I already painted, uh, colored this in with, speak, Cal, speak, uh, my pencil for the graphite, but that's all right. I'm just going to go over it. Who knows? Let's see what these bad boys can do. These, you know, I'm a Prismacolor girl. I love my Prismacolors. I have so many of them, but found these yesterday sitting as I was cleaning up that I had put out to try and I didn't. So I'm going to now. This is a mixed media piece of mixed media paper in my tablet. It's a mixed media tablet, obviously, uh, but it's not gessoed or anything. And you know, I'm going to put a link down below for uh, Blitzy because today Blitzy has deco art stencils uh, on sale and they're like the really, really cool stencils and they're $2.99 a piece. Plus, you get, if you use uh, SEPT20, you get, you can buy an item and get 50% off on it. Like you can use a coupon as if you're like an AC Moore or Michaels, except you can do it on Blitzy. I love Blitzy. I talk about Blitzy all the time. So I'm going to put the link down below. Go check it out because they have so many things. And if you're not into stencils and that kind of thing, they have yarn on sale. They have knitting stuff on sale. They have uh, needles. They have scrapbooking stuff. They have jewelry making stuff. There's so much stuff on sale. Today, so you can use your 50% off for any item that you want. It doesn't have to be mixed media related. It's just that I know a lot of you really like those stencils and I can never have enough stencils, honestly. So I'm gonna go, I know I want it darker up here. Let's just see what these pencils can do for me here. And I'm gonna go down here, I'm just gonna do like that. I'm going to do it a little bit here too to go around the face. Cause that's going to be a little darker just, just because, and I like doing this with colored pencils. You all know, if you guys have been following me for a while, I love colored pencils. My favorite are Prismacolors, but like I said, I'm, my stores around here quit selling them for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, and they have, um, I've talked about this before. Now they have these Koinors. So I picked them up so I can see how they work and if they work for me. Um, Prismacolors are very waxy and they're soft and they're delicious. These sound a little harder, but I don't know what they're going to be like to, uh, you know, shade in. So I'm all for trying out new things, you know. And seeing because then if I love them, I like to pick them up for giveaways, as you guys know, so I can share the love. Or sometimes I write to companies and ask them if they'll send me uh, stuff to do giveaways, which they don't do quite often. They don't do uh, often, but um, all right, this is one of my Prismacolor, the Premier. It's not sharpened, obviously. Not going to use that. All right, this is a uh, blender pencil, and it's the Polycolor. So we're going to see what that's going to do. 
And I picked up just face colors because obviously I love doing the faces. So I'm going to go with a little lighter color. And this is no idea. It doesn't lay a color, does it? Dark ochre. Oh, there you go, Kel. And I'm going to go in and kind of lay this above the eyes a little bit. Just to kind of blend that in. I know i got to put eyebrows on her, but I'm having a rough day today. So bear with me. What kind of voice was that, Kel? All right, so I'm going to just lay this in here just a little bit because I don't want too much, but I want to blend. It really is easier if you just move your painting or your journal <laughs> and go around like I'm doing, but it does make it easier. And then I'm going to put a little bit here of this color. I don't necessarily want to do so brown, but who knows? Maybe I will when I'm done. I, I do know I want this part darker. So that's what I'm going to do there. And then I'm going to take my, let's do peach, because I want her to have some peach here in her cheek area. Just a little bit, because hopefully this all blends together, but you're on the journey with me right now. So I have no freaking idea. All right, I'm just gonna lay this light. Okay, and lay this in here. I mean, the color goes on really good, so I'm hoping that it it blends for me. I really am. I'm gonna lay some peach in here because I don't know what color I'm gonna do here. All right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit, I know this has to be a cream color. Cream, how <laughs> you like that? 460 cream. In the Kalinor Hardmuth Poly Color, I don't know, if anybody uses these, let me know. So I can know the right pronunciation. Okay, so now I'm just gonna lay this over all the colors here. Let's see what we can get. Just gonna add a little warmth to her. You know? Especially under these eyes a little bit. Let's give her yellow. Yellow, because that's my undertone, which is not my favorite. All right, first one I'm gonna do is try the blender before I go to the white, because I like the white because it blends for me, but maybe the blender will blend. Oh, let's see what this is gonna do. Okay. It is blending it. Uh, let me see if you guys can see. I'm just going to do this area up here so you guys can see. Can you see how that blended it somewhat? You can kind of see the difference here compared to here. Let me see if I go another. See, these don't feel as waxy to me, like where they blend my Prismacolors will blend better, but let's see. I mean, I'm all for new items that are inexpensive and that I can use. So let me blend this here. This is blending it nice. That's the, um, oh, look at that. I like it. That's the uh, pencil, my regular pencil, plus the uh, darker color, the brown I put on there. Oh, I like it. If I can just get this to blend in a little bit. I'll lighten it up with the white, but I'm just gonna I'm blending these right now. I'm not, look at this. Can you guys see? So I'm just gonna blend this in a bit. Hmm. Huh. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what this here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like we'll blend the color. You can see, I'm trying to hold my hand away enough that you guys can see it. Now I want you to, can you see on there how, on the pencil, how um, it's picking up that dark because I used it on the eyes. So just wipe it off once in a while. So you don't smear like I just did. All right. So this is what I'm 
Just kind of laying this down everywhere. See, yeah, it's smearing. It's all right. I'll work with it. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. All right, so now I'm gonna take my white, which is literally just called white 112 in the same brand pencil. I can probably do here too. Yeah, it takes like those marks away that your colored pencil leaves, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not upset about that. It blends that pencil real nice too, so that's a that's a fun thing. You know? Alright, so now we're gonna go with white because I want this lighter. Hmm. Not exactly doing it how I want it to. Mm -mm. Nope. It's not blending it. And maybe it's because the pencil's new and I gotta get that wax down a little bit. I'm just gonna keep going over this. Yeah. Uh not really. Liking that. Let me see if I go over right here. Because it's leave what's what it's doing is it's leaving like lead marks, pencil marks in my now that laid down pretty nice there. Now I usually erase, like when I'm going to work with colored pencils or watercolor, acrylic not so much. I mean, sometimes I do, but um, like I'll erase everything down. So all the uh, graphite's off and then go back and do it. So that might be something you know, I mean, that's why it's kind of smearing everywhere because my graphite, I used a very thick uh, graphite. So these I want to blend in, but they're not going to do it for me, is it? Nope. I think these are cheaper than uh, Prismacolors too. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not exactly what I want. Cause like I said, that graphite kind of did me in, but I bet if I didn't have that graphite on there, it would be much better. I do love the darkness in the eyes though. I love the way that it, uh, let me see if I can blend this out a little bit more here. The little one up here. I love the way that it, uh, works on here. So that is a definite plus. I want to see how this reacts with paint over it or something. I don't know. I'm going to wipe my white off again because I've got that dark on there. Hmm. Okay. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to draw in her eyebrows it's like a uh, thinner thinner uh, lead in there than the prisma colors which you know for its own thing what the heck is my foot on what the heck is that what the heck it is um which is not a bad thing at all because you know you can see you're getting these great fine lines which i love really give her all right okay okay now what I want oh you know what I have let's try this this is a colorless pencil blender double-ended from national I don't know let's see what it does it has two ends so I guess you get a fine point and a thick point did I use it already? It's wet. Let's like a oh. This changes everything. And then you gotta wipe it off because it's which is fine. It's 
picking up that pencil that I have in there, but that's all right, because we're just playing. Hmm. What else can you use? You can use glycerin or baby oil or something for uh, in your blending. Like if I run out of the blending solution in here, I'm gonna have to look these up. This is pretty pretty awesome. I don't know. I don't even know this company, but I'm gonna look it up. Formulated to blend wax-based colored pencils. I'm in love. I love it. I love it. Like I said, I wish I wouldn't have done the. Uh, that's not going to take that off. I wish I would have erased the pencil first, but I'm going, I'm working with it. It doesn't, I want to blend here. So I want this to blend down here. Okay. Like I said, I made a mistake with the pencil. I get it. I get it. Okay. So, what color do I want her eyes? What color do I want her eyes? Let's use our ink tent blocks and see. Mainly because they're sitting right here. Um, I always go for green. Except what I'm going to do is find a pencil. I mean, a, a paintbrush. I'm going to wet it in my dirty water, because why not? And then I'm just going to take some of my ink tense block like this. You can see it gets on there. And I'm going to go in and lay the color down. And as you know, ink tense blocks, ink tense pencils, which are my, I just love them, love them. They all dry permanent. Look at that, how vibrant and delicious. I love it. I love it. I hate wasting water. Now you can also, you know, draw on here or you can shave a little bit off with your, you know, and use it as your paint. Um, you definitely can do that as well. Oh, but I just love that. Look at that. All right, now I gotta pick a lip color. What lip color? How about magenta? Just gonna swipe it a couple of times just to pick up a little bit. Okay. So the shading didn't turn out exactly how I wanted because I should have just erased like I was planning on it, but I didn't. So I'm probably gonna seal her or maybe not maybe what I'll do is go over with a little bit a little acrylic maybe I don't know I need a little bit more wet on my oh that's nice oh that's nice Okay, a little more here, bring this down a little bit, just for now, I'm not going to worry too much, that green's still in her eyes drying a little bit, so I'm not going to worry about that, but what kind of hair, hmm, I'm going to have to go black with her because I like the black with the green eyes. And I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit. I'm just gonna pull some off here. And I think I'm just gonna kinda, I don't know if I'll pull this off or not. Take it off here, I mean, like, you know, cut the hair off or I might just cut the head off. I don't know, but right now, I'm just gonna play with this a little bit. Look at the difference in colors you can get. I mean, this is like right off and I mean, that's not, not bad at all, which I know you guys out there who have 
of these are. Y'all know how great they are. Um, here, let me do my little pupil here. I'm just to lay it in so I can I can fix them a little better later because this one's a little more oval than I want it, but that's all right. That's just gonna be an idea if I want to do that curly hair or not. I'm just sitting playing right now. Hmm. But okay, I'm not not too upset with that. Like I said, her eyes. Now I might take this. Okay, I don't have any left. I was gonna say I can go over and do these dark, but I don't know. I'm kind of kind of not hating on her. So I think that's it for today. <laughs> A lot more than you bargained for, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm talking to myself. It's that kind of day. It is hashtag 29 faces. Go check that out. And this is day 20. So I'm sure you'll see her in the future in something. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to probably just cut her head out. Because who doesn't just want to cut the head out, right? And then I will put her in my pile of my other stuff that I want to... Uh, Add to canvases and then go from there. So, as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Give me a thumbs up if you like watching these, and I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.